Mr. Barr, as I take a step back at this, I, I just really think we're at a very sobering moment in American history that there is a considerable amount going on when you actually take time and read this whole report that shows that we're sort of at a crossroad, and I fear uh, that we're descending into a new normal that is dangerous for our democracy on a number of levels. And I fear, unfortunately, and I hope we have a chance to discuss this, that, that you've not only put your own credibility into question, but seem to be giving sanction to behavior through the language you used in that press conference you held, the language you used uh, in your summary that, that stimulated Mueller to write such a strong rebuking letter. I, I fear that you are adding normalcy to a point where we should be sounding alarms as opposed to saying that there's nothing to, to see here. Um, and, and so one, it, 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 this 448 page report that has a deep litany of lies and deceit and misconduct of President of the United States instructing people to lie and be deceitful, uh, evidence of people trying to cover up behavior that on its face is morally wrong, whatever the legal standard is. Uh, I, I found it, number one, uh, to, by saying that this kind of obstructive conduct was acceptable, not only acceptable, but your sentence literally saying that the American people should be grateful for it, that is the beginning of normalization that I want to explore. Be but the great. second thing I want to explore, and we'll explore this, but I want to make my two th statements at the, at the top. One, that's problematic. And, and General, the second problem I have is that you seem to be excusing a campaign that literally had hundreds of contacts with a foreign adversary that I think there's a conclusion amongst, and a bipartisan conclusion, that there was a failure to even report those contacts that we engaged in behaviors that the folks knew that, that were wrong, that they tried to actively hide. They seem to capitalize, seek to capitalize on this foreign interference. I mean, in our country, we know it is illegal for a campaign and wrong for a campaign to share polling data with an American super PAC. But we have here documented a level of coordination with a foreign adversary sharing polling data and, and, and we seem to be, and your conduct seems to be, trying to normalize that behavior. And that's why I think we are in such a serious moment that, could, that is eroding the cultures uh, of this democracy and the security of this democracy. And so let's just get into some of this specifically. Um, you said, quote, we know that the Russian operatives who perpetrated these schemes did not have the cooperation of President Trump or the Trump campaign. That is something that all Americans can and should be grateful to have confirmed. The things I just mentioned, uh, uh, a, a willingness to meet with Russian operatives in order to capitalize on information, I don't think that's something that should be grateful. Uh, I, I find your, your choice of words alarming. I think it, it calls into question your objectivity when you look at the actual context of the report. And so should the American people really be grateful that a candidate for president sought to benefit from material and information that was stolen by a foreign power in an effort to influence an election? Well, I'm not sure what you mean by seek to benefit. There's, there's no indication that uh, they engaged in the con either the conspiracy to hack or that they engaged in any action with respect to the dissemination that was criminal. Well, again, sir, you're using the word conspiracy, which is a legal term. In that press conference, you used President Trump's words, obstruction, over and over again. Uh, pulling... Obstruction's a legal term. Well, well sir, you, you pulled into his words, and I, I'm asking you specifically. Um, I'm sorry, uh, uh, collusion was the word I was looking for. Okay. You used the word no collusion over and over again. Um, and, the, and you said the American people should be grateful that the president sought to benefit from material and information. But you know they did seek to benefit from that material. Donald Trump Jr. in his own email seemed to celebrate that he might have access to information from a foreign adversary. Is that correct? Uh, Is that something the American people should be grateful in, for? Apparently, according to the report, he was... Yeah. Uh, apparently, uh, he was interested in seeing what this uh, Russian woman had in the way of, quote, and, and, and did not report it as, I think, everybody who's in 
politics knows it's something you should do. Should the American people be grateful well, that in the face of our attack on our democracy by a foreign adversary, that the President of the United States made several documented attempts to thwart an investigation into the links between his campaigns and Russia? You use that word grateful again, that the American people should be grateful. Is, should, is that something we should be grateful for? I'm not sure what, what you're talking about. Well, uh, sir, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the attempts that this President made that, that Mueller pointed to at least 10 attempts to thwart an investigation into the links between his campaign and Russia. Should we be grateful for those 10 well-documented attempts by Mueller? You, are you talking about the obstruction part of the uh, report? It, it, I'm talking thwart? about the, the second volume, but, okay. but I'm, let me continue. Should the American people be grateful that the Trump had more than 215 documented contacts between Russian-linked operatives and then lied about them and tried to hide them? Is that something the American people should be grateful for any president, this one or any down the road. The, 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 as I s mentioned earlier, uh, during a campaign, foreign governments make, and, and, and foreign citizens frequently make a lot of attempts to contact different campaigns. If we were right now, to go and look at, for example, Hillary Clinton's campaign during the same time Sir, frame, I, I, wait, I, time frame it, then, then you would see a lot of uh, foreign governments sir, like Chinese trying to establish... And, and that's, I guess, what I'm trying to say to you, sir, is that we right now have a new normal in our country. We have a document that shows over 200 attempt, uh, connections between a, a presidential campaign and a foreign adversary, sharing information that would be illegal if you did it with a super PAC. We know that. But what sharing, information was shared? The polling data was shared, sir. It's in the report. I can with, cite with, you the page. With who? And I, and I guess my point is is that your willingness to seem to brush over this and, and use words like the American people should be grateful, what's in this report? Nobody should be grateful. Concerted efforts for deception, for misleading, inappropriate action after inappropriate action, that, that is clear. And then on top of that, at a time that we all recognize that we had a foreign power trying to undermine our election, you, the chief law enforcement officer, not only undermines your own credibility as an independent actor when there's ongoing investigation still, using the word president's own words, having it criticized by the Mueller himself. But, but the, the challenge we now have is that we are going into an area where you seem to not even be willing to be in the least bit critical in, in your summarizations. I, I believe that calls in your credibility. Uh, and again, uh, my time is up.